and Kelly, it's great to have you here. Today, we have got one of the most famous mentalists in the country, Oz Perlman. This guy is going to blow your mind and make you believe in psychic powers. Plus, Elizabeth High, Elizabeth High School. She's going to be here with some New Year's Eve cocktails for you. Maybe a hangover cure as well. We'll see. And Low Cash is going to be performing live. But first, yes. First up, raise your hand if you have frequent flyer miles. You have frequent, and, and have no idea how to cash them in. No idea. I feel like they make it intentionally hard. You know, with so many airlines, travel websites, blackout dates, restrictions, blah, 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 using those points can be very confusing. And here to help us get a little bit more bang for our travel bucks is Brian Kelly. He's the CEO and founder of the website, <laughs> thepointsguy.com. Hey. Hey, Good to see you. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you. Come on over. First of all, do you believe, as I believe, that it is, it is by design that it is so hard to cash in those points? It is hard to cash in the points, but definitely not impossible. I mean, I, I think this year I've saved $70,000 on flights just wow. by redeeming for... Wow, that's amazing. And anyone can do it, too. I mean, I think the thing is people just give up. You know, people think, yes. oh, I can never use my points, but you can, and they're so valuable. All right, number one, you say that there's some website that can really help us. What's that? Well, I think... So there's two different things I want to talk today. One is saving on airfare, right? Because even if you don't have points, who hates paying too much money to the airlines for airfare, right? Yeah. So the biggest thing in searching for airfare, so there's this, a website, it's free, I'm obsessed. It's called Google Flights. And what Google Flights will let you do, who here has ever been like, I just need to get away, I don't care where it is. <laughs> Right? Feeling that right now, feeling that in this moment. Yeah, so especially like if it's freezing cold, and you're like, I just need to get to a beach. So Google Flights has a map feature where you can say, okay, I'm leaving from Chicago, and it'll show you all the cities where you can fly and the prices that you can go. So you may see a city in Florida that you've never been to. And my tip is go somewhere new. Go, don't, you know, don't keep going to the same old mm -hmm. spots that are really expensive. Even Puerto Rico, it's back up for business. It may not be exactly what it was, but let's support Puerto Rico. You know, indulge, so that... indulge your wanderlust. Indulge your wanderlust. All right. You also say, I know that we should, we should try booking on, on foreign websites. Is that what a foreign yeah, so, website's for an airline? So this is the crazy thing. Okay, so here's, this is like an insider tip, and it may take a second to wrap your head around it. But there are websites. So U.S. dollar is really, really strong right now. So if you book in foreign currencies, so here's an example. Say you want to go to London, New York to London on Norwegian Air. So they fly to tons of places. Norwegian's like one of the top like, expanding airlines in the U.S. They've got really cheap fares. So it's $390 if you book in U.S. dollars. If you click that your country is Norway, and it'll change the website into Norwegian, you can save 20% by paying in Norwegian krona. And this is totally legal. Like, this is totally legal. And people are always like, trust me, I've done it. So literally, a $390 ticket drops instantly. Same exact flight to $322. And how do you navigate the language? So Google Translate, it's actually pretty simple. <laughs> It sounds crazy, but it's like saving money. It's like putting, you know, it's like saving 20%. That is very good to know. Yeah. All right, what about the, the dreaded non-refundable ticket okay. that you know you're going to lose money if you cancel, but sometimes ticket. you have to cancel? So here's the thing with airline tickets. So the airlines are going to charge you $250 to change your ticket. It could be more than the actual price. I've actually called the airline. They're like, you owe us money to cancel a ticket. I'm like, no, <laughs> then I'm not going to cancel it, right? I refuse. But what I've done is, so I book flights all the time. Never, If you know your ticket's going to get canceled, wait. Because if there's even, so the airlines can change the schedule around. They do that all the time. Even if they change the schedule by five minutes, you can call and be like, oh, no, that five minute change doesn't work for me. And they'll refund you. So then if there's a But you're playing the odds. So you playing you the know odds, you have to cancel. So, you're not going to so take your cancel, trip. Yeah. You're betting that they're going to do something. Exactly. They're going to screw because up. Because if you're going to cancel and lose all the value, you've already lost. So watch that flight. If there's a big blizzard coming, you can call and say, hey, there's this blizzard coming. Do you mind canceling? And you would be shocked. And especially, I mean, my main tip today is be nice. If you're a jerk, I mean, that's in life, right? But yeah. you would be, I've called airline agents, you know, charm them a little bit. And you just say, look, I know today's been crazy for you. But if you ask, it never hurts to ask. And the same thing in the airport. Like, if your flight's canceled, I know you want to just scream at that person. And I see it all the time. But the nice people win. If you're actually mm -hmm. nice to those people who work so hard, they don't get paid a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And trust me, they don't want your flight to be canceled. 
You know, so change your mindset and you can get that last seat on can the next I flight out. One time my husband and I were checking into a hotel with our kids, our young kids, and they had given away our room even though we had paid already for the night in advance. Like it's we'd already crazy. paid for the room. And we had so we now have three little kids. We don't know where we're gonna go, what we're gonna do. And I got a little rude with the woman who was rude with me. She was not apologetic. And eventually they found us some other room, whatever. So we went to a room, it was good, we got in. I went back down, I said I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just stressed out. Yeah. I'm a three kids, and I, I didn't mean to be. And then she was nice. It yeah. was like I felt better, and she felt better. It's, Sometimes you know you, your better angels aren't there when you need them, and then totally, they come they come totally. later. It doesn't matter who you are. Hotels can still walk you from. That's what we call it in the industry. You're getting walked. So if you're checking in late at a hotel, always call and say, "Hey, I'm checking in late." Because as the day goes on, they think, "Oh, this person's not going to show up. Yeah. Let's charge someone else." Let Let's talk about points. Yes, points, because that's what. I don't know how to cash them in. It's overwhelming to me. Yes. So points, you need to think of points as currency, right? So when you fly, everyone here, like, put your frequent flyer account on your flight, right? So then a lot of people, I'm not saying you're a points hoarder. A lot of people have points. What? But then that's what we call people who accrue points and then never use them. Yes. Um, but points are really valuable. Um, and the thing is, there's a lot of myths around them. People think they can't use them. They won't even check. But even when you check an airline website to use your miles, Airline websites lie. That may come as a shock, but they're not showing you all of the award availability. So airlines have partners. So they have alliance partners and all these other partners, but the systems don't talk to each other. So if you're searching on a certain airline website to go to Hong Kong, you know, they, there may be an Asian carrier that has award availability, but it doesn't show up on that airline's website. So how do you figure that Pick out? Pick it up and call. I know it's crazy to think about in this day and age calling an airline, but being nice and calling an airline and specifically say, can you please search on partners? And here's the crazy search thing. Search on partners. So call up and say, I would like you to search. I'm trying to go to Hong Kong. Can you search on your partner? And as nice as you are, and the more information you can give them, so if you do a little bit of research and you know who those partners are to begin with, and here's the kicker. When you book using miles on partners, it's always at the lowest level possible. So that's another reason why you think, well, why aren't the airline systems talking to each other? Because they don't really want you to know mm -hmm. that it's the cheapest using your it. miles. So, so I think what, we, what we've learned here today is you should probably have a glass of wine before you make yes. this call. <laughs> you should put on some good TV to ride you through the three hours it's going to take yeah. to get through it and maintain your happy face. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That was really helpful. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hello Today fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.